Hello there. Nice to be with you. And uh, to this today, I want to just uh, give you a little. I can't think of the word. Oh, acrostic. That's the word. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, oh the, an acrostic on the letters of the word Easter. So we take each letter, and I want to give you a Bible verse which is relevant. So we start with Easter. And E stands for the empty tomb, empty tomb. And in Luke chapter 24, verse 3, we read, They found the stone rolled away from the entrance to the tomb, and they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. So we start with an empty tomb. We go on to A, that represents the appearances of the Lord Jesus. And Dr. Luke tells us in Acts chapter 1, verse 3, that for 40 days after his death, Jesus appeared to his disciples many times in ways that proved beyond doubt that he was alive. That's amazing, isn't it? That's Acts chapter 1, verse 3. Over 40 appearances, uh, over 40 days, many appearances of the Lord Jesus. And then S stands for the title, the Son of God. Romans chapter 1, verse 4 says, Jesus was shown with great power to be the Son of God by being raised from the death. His resurrection was a confirmation that he was indeed the Son of God. T, a little phrase, trust in him. Romans 3.22, God puts people right with himself through their faith in Jesus Christ. It's important therefore that we with thankful hearts trust him as our own personal Lord and Saviour. This is the way in which God puts people right with himself through his Son, our Lord Jesus. And then we take the letter E and that stands for eternal life eternal life. 1 John chapter 5 verse 13. These things have I written unto you that you may know that you have eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. Eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. And finally the letter R. And that stands for resurrection. 1 Corinthians 15 is the great chapter on the resurrection. And in verse 52 we read, The dead will be raised, never to die again, and we shall all be changed. What a terrific future we have through Christ. Through him, we have assurance that we too will have a resurrection body, free from all these infirmities and preparing us for that new life in that heavenly kingdom. So, this acrostic Easter, I just leave with you to think about it. E, the empty tomb. A, the appearances. S, Son of God. T, Trust in him, be thankful. E, eternal life. Our resurrection, our future resurrection. What a glorious message Easter has. And of course, for the Christian, every day is Easter day. We don't just do it once a year. He's alive, he lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me, 
He talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives. He lives. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. And he lives within the heart of every believer and also those who come to believe in him. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Just a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message of Easter. Not only did Jesus die, but that he rose again the three, third day. The tomb was empty and he appeared to his disciples on many occasions. And we thank you that he ascended up into heaven and is seated at your right hand. And by his Holy Spirit, he comes amongst us day by day. So we pray that for all who see this message, hear this message, they may open their hearts to you. And for those of us who have done so, help us to rejoice and to rest in your love. Bless us and make us a blessing. We ask it for your honour and glory. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, good to be with you. Happy Easter and uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye. God bless.